All right, let's get started with our warm up. It's always important to warm up before we begin any exercise program. So let's start by having your feet about hip width apart. Your chest is up. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Blow it out. Good. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Couple more here, breathe in. And exhale, blow it out. Last one, breathe in. And blow it out. Stand up nice and tall. Hands are on your hips. You're just gonna take a nice side to side step here. So side to side. All right, so this is your workout today. I want you to do what's right for you. Drink plenty of water, take breaks when you need it, and we're ready to go. Let's do this. Okay, side to side. We're gonna add an arm here. So add a bicep curl, side to side. Great. Looks good. Stay here for four more, three more, two. Now take those arms to the side, just out to the side, nice and easy, warming up. Good. Hold it here for four, three, two. Now an upright row. Looks like this. Pull your arms side to side. Elbows come up a little higher than the hands. Very nice. Four, three. Now arms are going to come up overhead and pull it down. So pull down and down, down. Now these are supposed to confuse you a little bit. We're working our upper and lower body. Good. Let's try that all again. Arms come up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Arms to the side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Upright row again. Pull it up. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, arms come up, pull down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax. You can march it out here, nice little march. Roll those shoulders back, feels good, good. Now take the shoulder roll forward. Excellent. Okay, we're just gonna put our hands right on our thighs. I'll turn to the side so you can see me. Stick your glutes out a little bit and feet are about hip width apart again. Hold it here for one moment. You're gonna tuck that belly in, arch the back, look down at your toes, then slowly look up, activating those back muscles. Breathe in, blow it out. Breathe in. Blow it out one more time. Breathe in, roll it up nice and slow. Good, stand up nice and tall. We're gonna add that march back in, so march it here. Good, bring those arms right out to the side. Palms are gonna come up and down, so palms come up and down. So it's really important to get those joints moving. Joints really help with the stability around your muscles. Muscles need to stay strong. Good. Add a little more arms, so arms are gonna come all the way up and down. Really twist it. For eight, and seven, six, five, four. We got three more, two, and one, stop those feet again. You're just gonna fold forward, open up that chest, forward and open. Forward, open, four more, four. And open, three. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Last one, stay up. Squeeze it back for eight and seven, six. You can pretend there's a nice tennis ball behind those shoulder blades and hold. Turn the palms back behind you. Pulse it out here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, bring those arms down. March it back out again. So if you wanna grab water, this might be a good time to do that. We'll stay here for eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. 
Good. Add that side to side step back in here. So side to side. We're gonna add a shoulder roll here. So bring in the shoulder. We feeling good? Still warm enough? I think we should be getting warm by now. All right, good. Four more. Three, two, add an elbow here. Eight, six, four more. Two, now that full arm comes up and around. Pull it back. It's like you're going for a little swim. Bring it around. Feeling good. Three, two, one. March it out again right here. Good. Okay, we're gonna add on to this. So open those feet wide. Arms are gonna come out to the side. This is a 90 degree angle right here. We're gonna just twist through, warming up the core a little bit more. So we're twisting nice and tall. Stay here and twist. All right, four, three. Next, we're gonna swing. So arms come up side to side. You're gonna bend into those knees. Hands come nice and tall, side to side. Four, three, two, now twist again. Twist for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and swing. Swing for eight, seven, Woo! keep that chest up. Three, two, and twist. Twist it out, keep that core strong, nice and tight. Four, three, two, swing last time. Hands come high, knees go low. We're gonna start to turn our bodies. So you're gonna turn over to the left, swinging toe, then heel. Toe and heel. So you're shifting that weight front and back. Good, stay here. This is called a rocking horse. Three, two, and one, great job. Okay, we're gonna set up our body onto the side. Knee's gonna come right above the ankle. Back foot is straight. Stand up nice and tall with your chest up. You're gonna take that back knee down to the floor. We need to start activating those muscles in the hamstrings and the quad. So we're just gonna lunge it down a little bit. Now if you have bad knees or any issues with the knees, just stay up tall for a moment and work on that balance. If not, you can go a little bit lower here. Good. Squeeze those glutes. Last one, hold it here. Keep that split stance position. Arms are gonna come up, push the heel down. Up and push. Up, push. Good, breathe through this. Two and one, hold it here. You're gonna shift that weight back into the back right foot, front toe comes up, hold it here. Stomach is nice and tight. You're gonna start to tap out that front toe. Tap it out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, turn that toe tap to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now you're gonna go front and side, front side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stop right there. Bend it forward, arch your back, roll it all the way up. Face me, swing it out eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now you're turning to the right, back into that heel and toe. Shift that weight again, rocking horse, other side. So try to square off those shoulders, square off those hips, and two more, and one. Again, hold it here. Knee stays above the ankle, really making sure that whole body's in a nice line. You're gonna take that back knee, start to drop it down to the floor. So other side, good. Four, three, two, and one, hold it here. Back heel comes up and down, up, press down. Working into that calf, three, four, five, and six, 
seven, last one, eight. Stay in that split stance. Shift that weight back into the left foot now. The opposite toe is in front. Hold it here, sit it back. Weight should be in the back heel. Start to tap it out. Tap, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now front and side right here, front side. Five, six, seven, and stop right there. Bend it over, stomach stays in, arch your back, roll up that spine, face me, and swing it out. Last set for eight, seven, four, three, two, and march it out. Excellent, we should feel really warmed up right now, ready to move on to some strength. Join me for some upbeat, funky dance moves in this 10-minute cardio section. We're going to need one move to learn before we get started, and it's called the Mambo. So all it is is rocking your feet back and forth. So your right foot's going to go back and forth, back and forth, and then you're going to switch to your left. That all, that's all it is. Very simple. All right, let's get started. March it out right here. Good. Right, we're gonna go for a little walk. Walk up, two, three, and clap, and back. Up, and back. Take it to the right. Up, two, three, and back. And up, two, three, back to the center. Up, two, three, and back. Up, and back. Let's go left. Up, two, three, and clap, back. Up. Take it back, march it here. Eight, seven, and six, five. Get ready for that mambo move. Right foot forward. So come up and back, up and back. So swing that hip out if you want. Make it a little bit bigger. Four more here. Four, three, two, last one. And cha-cha-cha, left, and two, and three. You got this, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and march it out, excellent. One more time, we're gonna walk it up for two, this time take it on the left. So march it up, two, three, and back. Up, two, three, and back, come on left. Up, two, three, and back. And back up, and back. Back to center, up, two, three. And back, and up. Over to the right, up, two, three. And back, up, two, three. Take it back, march it out here, march. Big knees, big knees. Four mambos on the right. In four, three, two, mamba right foot up, up. And back, two, three, and four. Switch feet, left, up, two, three, and four. March it out right here. Awesome, you did it, that's great. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a little cardio boxing now. So march it out, right foot starting. All right, open those feet wide and plant them down, get those fists up. We're gonna box it out, right and left. Really good, excellent. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now take it across your body and punch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do eight more here, don't hit your neighbor. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, take it forward, eight, punch. Now you really can use those muscles, get into it. Four, three, two, take it across. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here in march. Big marches, big hands, big knees. 
Hold it here. All right, we're gonna add in a speed bag. So hands are gonna come up about a little higher than those eyebrows, start punching it out. Speed bag, hold it here for eight, really punch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, turn it to the left. You can add a little hop here if you want, or just keep that march going. Three, turn it back to center. Hop it out or march. Good, three, two, one, and turn to the right, march it out or jog. Four, three, back to center, march it out again, good. All right, second segment here. We're gonna do what's called a hook and an uppercut. So open those feet wide. Here we go, hook it out. Hook, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Bend those knees, you can make it a little bigger. Four more, four, three, add in that uppercut, go up and up, up, whoo, breathe. Two, hook it out again and hook, hook. Really get your weight into it this time. Last time, uppercut, up, two, three. Keep that core strong, four, three, two, march it out, march, big knees again. Get those hands right back up, speed bag. Hold it here for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, turn to the right. Remember, you can either march it out or add that jog. This is your workout, do what's right for you. Come back to center, really punch it. Hands are over the heart, turn to the left. Three, two, back to center, hands come down, march it out last time. Good. All right, let's take a little break, grab some water. All right, march it out. We're gonna do some heel digs, so I'll show you what it is. Join me when you're ready. In four, three, right heel's gonna come out in front of you. That's all it is, nice little heel digs. Okay, so you can stay up nice and tall, level one, level two's gonna get low. So stay out for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, stand up tall and march. Okay, we're gonna take that heel dig to the side. In three, two, one, heel digs to the side. Take it out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and march it out, good. All right, put that together, add some arms, make it big, four, three, heel digs to the front for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Take it to the side, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, do it again, in front, eight, get low, and lower, low, four, three, two, take it to the side, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, march it out right here, big marches, good. All right, same thing. We're gonna do it with the knees this time. So stay nice and tall. Knees come up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Take the knees to the side. You got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out right here. Turning it to the left. Left knee up right here. Left, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, left knee to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, march it out again, good. All right, challenging ourselves. Either stay with the march or bring those arms overhead. Last one, it's really hard, but you can do it, I know you can. Elbow knee, we're just gonna do eight of these. Opposite elbow. Opposite knee, let's go. Here, crunch, crunch, that's one. And two, and three, and four, a few more. Five, six, seven, 
seven, last one, eight. March it out, great job. Here we go. Last cardio song. You can do this. Now make sure you're taking that water break if you need it. All right, we're just gonna march it out. Big knees right here. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Really pump those arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Open the feet, wide and march. Lift those knees side to side. Pretending you have strings on the knees. Lift it out. Eight more, really lift. Pump those arms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it back together. Last time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. March it out, little marches. We're gonna transition. Side to side stepping. Here we go. Take it side to side. Side and side. Good. Add a shoulder roll. Shoulders, shoulders. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. March it out again. March. Two. Pump those hands. Five, six, seven. Side to side. March. Side. To side, side, to side. Good, now we're gonna add some quicker arms right here to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Slow down the arms, but all the way up. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Four more, three more, two, good. Last one, keep those feet, drop the arms right here. Arms are gonna go in the front for eight. Really quick one, so eight, seven, six, five, four, three, slow down the arms, up and down. Up, press back, up and press. Up, press, good. Breathe, four more, three, two, Last one, good, march it out. Last set, arms come out to the side, 90 degree angle. Just press it up and down for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, arms stay up, pull down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and little marches. Whoo, you did it, that was great, good job. Give yourself a hand. Welcome to our balance segment. Balance is a skill that you can improve upon. Balance can be practiced seven days a week. I would actually recommend that you do things like stand in your kitchen by the counter, walk along, practice some heel lifting up and down, even use your sink. So let's get started with some basic balance moves. Your feet are gonna be hip width apart, chest is open, stand nice and tall. We're just gonna lift our heels, lower them right back down. Lift up and lower down, good. Lift up and lower. So you don't wanna rock or swing with this. You just wanna pretend that string's pulling you up, lowering back down. Let's do two more. Two and one, excellent. All right, let's add some arms into this. We're gonna be lifting arms up, coming back down. Lifting up, coming back down. You're actually trying to hold it up there for an extra second, almost balancing on those tippy toes a little bit, and down. You're building some nice strength in those ankles, working on the muscles around the joints, do two more, and last one up, and come on back down, good. We're gonna pick up our right foot now. I have a chair here that you can use for safety purposes. Don't touch it if you don't need it, it's right there if you do. We're gonna pick up our right foot and just roll out those ankles. So roll them right around, nice big circle. 
and stop there. You're gonna reverse that circle right around. Three more, two, and one. Good, put that foot down. Go right into the opposite foot. I have my left foot lifted. I'm gonna circle it out on the left. Remember, you can try to let go every once in a while if you're using that chair. Good, reverse, other side. Four, three, two, and put that foot right back down. Lifting the right foot right up again. We're gonna point and flex our toe. So it's point and flex, point and flex. Sometimes it helps if you're spotting. Look right in front of you. Good, four more. Three, two, and one. Put that foot down. All right, working on that stability leg as well. We're gonna lift and lower on the other side. Point and flex, point and flex, point, flex, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, just shake out those ankles again. Okay, for our next balance move, again, feet are hip width apart. We're gonna take our right foot out in front of us. You're gonna be lifting and lowering your knee for this one. So we want to lift our knee up as far as 90 degrees and no higher. So if you can get it up there, great. If you can only get it to here, do what's right for you. This is your workout. We're gonna hold on to start, making sure we have a nice balance to begin. We're gonna lift and lower. Now you can put that foot all the way back down on the floor or try to hold it up the whole time. Great. Everyone has a different level of when they're trying to balance where they're being stabilized on that ankle that's holding you upright. Good, one more. Up and down. Switch those feet right back out. Standing nice and tall, we're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep that core nice and tight, good. Excellent, few more of these. One more, lift it up and lower it down, great. All right, balance challenge. Same motion, but this time you're gonna hold it up for five counts. So I call these five of five. We're gonna hold it up for five, lower it down, right back up, down, right back up. All right, here we go, hold it up for five, four, three, Two, lower down, right back up. Five, four, three, two, down, back up. Five, four, three, two. You got two more sets here. You got this, hold. Last set, come on up for five, four, three, two, and down. You did it. All right, other side. Here we go, get ready. Nice tight core, lift it up for five, four, three, two, down, right back up. Five, four, three, two, down, back up. Nice. Two more sets, back up. Two, three, four, five. Last time, lower and lift. Two, three, four and five, release. Good job, all right, shake that out a little. Okay, we're gonna just do a hamstring stretch now. So what I want you to do, if you have that chair there, you're gonna use it to start. Your front knee is bent over the ankle, your left leg is behind you. I want you to really lean into this one, so separate those feet, incorporating a little balance. You can lean forward to start, then start to bring your chest up really stretching out that hip flexor muscle. I'm gonna have you take your right arm, open it up behind you, look behind those fingertips, hold it there for a moment. If you're working on that balance, you can let go of the chair, hold it, and then bring that back over. You can do it on the other side as well, look behind you, stretching out the chest and bring that back in. Come on up, switch those feet. Right foot is forward, left foot's behind you. 
Knees over ankle, stay nice and tall. Sit into it, weights in the front heel. You're starting out low, then starting to lift that chest up. Nice hip flexor stretch. Hold it here for a moment, start to let go. Open the left hand behind you. Look past the fingertips. And then right back over to the other side. Lifting that chest, sitting down into the heel. Breathe and relax, good. Excellent, all right. We're gonna do one more stretch here. Again, incorporating the balance. If this bothers your knees, don't do it. You can grab onto that ankle, standing nice and tall. If this bothers the knees, again, you can just put that leg back. We're just trying to stretch out the quadricep here. I'm gonna lift, and then if anyone has any extra balance, let's see if I can do this today. Lift up your other hand, hold and come right back down, good. Nice quadricep stretch. Okay, other side, you're gonna be lifting up the ankle. Opposite hand comes up in the air, hold it here. Nice deep breaths. This is an advanced move. And come right back down out of it, good, excellent. Okay, we're gonna take a seat, sitting down into the chair. Again, sitting nice and tall, taking our right foot out. We're just gonna lift and lower that right foot up and down. So you're lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering, lift and lowering. Now this seems simple, right? I don't want you to just lift that leg around, moving it around. I want you to really use that quadricep to lift the leg up and down. Chest stays up again. Neck is relaxed. Lift up and down, two, and one. Now hold it up. Look, I've got shakes going on, that's okay. Hold it up there, hold it up, three, two, lower it down, good. Switch those feet, sitting nice and tall, lift and lower. Up and down, up and up. Good, couple more, three, two, last one, hold it up there. Breathe, and lower that one right back down. Okay, you can sit on the edge of the chair this time. You're just gonna twist those legs right over to the side. Get a nice long line through the body. Again, stretching out those hip flexors. And then come on forward, right over to the other side. Nice long line in the body. Stay nice and tall. And come on back, great. Okay, we can put that chair around. And we're gonna do some side leg lifts. Okay, so nice and tall. We're gonna take that outer leg, lifting it out to the side and back. Out and back. So for this exercise, you wanna keep your body nice and tall. You don't wanna be leaning over at all. You just wanna lift through the hip. Foot is flexed, using that chair for safety. One more, good. We're gonna stay on this leg for a minute. We're gonna go forward with the leg this time. So you're coming forward and back. Forward and back. You can check in, try to let go of the chair. Up, three, two, and one, good. Last one for this right leg. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. Again, nice and tall. You're gonna just kick that leg behind you. As you come behind, you're squeezing through the glute. Squeeze. And you don't wanna lean forward on this one right here. We're working strength and balance. Two and one, good. Moving that chair to the other side so we can get um, enough room for our outer leg. So we're gonna come straight up, standing tall. The left leg's gonna go in and out for eight. Good. Letting go of the chair if you can. Good. Last one. Here we go. Bring it out and in. Good. All right. Foot is going to come right out in front of you. You're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Check in with that posture. Nice and tall. 
four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go behind us now. Turning so you can see, nice and tall. Four back, four, three, two. I tricked you, we're doing four more here. Four, three, two, and the last one, good. Let's roll that out, excellent. Okay, we're gonna do a, another balance challenge, moving that chair over to the side. This is called a staggered stance or a scissor stance. We're gonna try to place our weight into the front heel, then shift the weight into the back heel. Okay, so we're in a scissor or staggered stance, shifting that weight up and then back. It's also known as a rocking horse, up and back, up and back. Few more. Good, last one, up and back. All right, switch those feet. Okay, get in your staggered stance position. Staying tall, weight comes in the front heel, then goes in the back heel. Woo, watch that wobble. And back. See, it's harder than it looks. Up and back, good. Shift the weight in the front heel, then right back. Let's try two more of these. Two. Last one, and come on back with it. Good, standing nice and tall. All right, we're gonna add on some agility. So I'm gonna bring our chair back over. I'm taking our band. We're really just using it as a prop, so you don't need it if you don't have one. We're gonna put it right down in front of us, okay? So this is a really fun exercise to try at home because we have to add coordination to it, quickness, balance, strength, it's kind of a total combination. So we wanna get nice and tall in our chair. Feet are, again, uh, ankle above knee, in a 90 degree angle. What you're gonna be doing is just trying to do a toe touch in front of that band. Easy, right? Okay, so we're gonna keep doing our toe touches till you get it. Now we're gonna really pick up the pace. Okay, let's try it. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Good, fun, right? All right, we are gonna take our band, put this down in front, make sure we have enough room here, crisscross the heels in front, back and forth. Okay, so we're crisscrossing the heels. So this is our transverse plane coming across our body. We're trying to connect our brain with our muscles. So it's definitely challenging. We're gonna try to go as fast as you can, picking up the pace, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Huh, we did it. Okay, we're gonna just move that band off to the side. Good, standing up again. Last time for our balance. We're gonna open those feet wide. Last couple heel raises up. And down, up, and down, up, good. A few more here. Then we're gonna hold it up for our big finish. Last one, let's hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come down. Walk those feet in, and you did your balance segment. Great job. I want you to stand with your feet about hip width apart. We're just gonna take some nice deep breaths in and out. So breathe in through the nose, relax your body, blow it out. Breathe in, 
Exhale, blow it out. Breathe in. Blow it out one more time. Good, breathe in. And exhale, blow it out. Stand up nice and tall. You're gonna reach that left hand right up over your body. Hold it here for a few seconds. Take some nice deep breaths. Remember, don't go forward or back here. You wanna stay up and over. Great job, guys and girls. You did fabulous today. We're gonna lift up and over to the other side. Good. Remember, staying tall. Breathe in. Blow it out. One more time. Swing those arms up and over like a windmill. Right on over to the other side. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. And finally back to the beginning. Over to the other side. And bring it on back. All right, let's stretch out our neck a little bit. We're gonna stand tall, look over to the right, hold it here. Good, look center, then look over to the left. Keeping a nice long line through the middle of your body, back to center. You're gonna do that again, look over to your right. This time, look behind your right shoulder, Adding some hyperextension into the neck. Little deeper stretch here. And back to center. Do that to the other side, over. Look past that left shoulder. Good, and back to center. We're gonna take our right ear to right shoulder. I want you to think nice and tall, lift, and bend over to one side. Good. Now again, not forward or back. People tend to want to do that. You're just lifting and lowering ear to shoulder. Come back up to center. Over to the other side. Hold it here. Again, all the way up. Take it over right to the beginning. Then you're going to roll it out chin to chest. Stop at the other side. Take it back. Roll it over to the right. One more time to the left, all the way back over, and then just come on straight up, good. You're gonna take that right hand up overhead, reach behind the left ear, gently guide those fingers down. Look past your armpit on the right. Now you don't wanna tug this too tight, it's just a nice gentle stretch here. Hold it for a few moments. Bring that head back up, put that right hand down. Same thing on the other side, lift up, left hand behind right ear, look down toward your left armpit, guide that hand there, hold it, nice and gentle stretch. And then come on off, up out of that one, good. Okay, you can hold on to your chair for safety if you need it, we're gonna look up above, up to the ceiling, center, and then down, chin to chest. One more time, look up, and center, then back down, chin to chest. Good. Moving on to some lower body, stretching out the legs. So I want you to open your legs wide. You're gonna sit back into the left heel, bending the left leg. Make sure your legs are wide enough to get there. Toes facing forward. You're sitting into the left heel, stretching out that inner thigh. Okay, hold it here for a few moments. Good. Lift that body up and take it right over to the other side. You're sitting into the right heel. Good, come on up. Now you're gonna flow back and forth. As long as it doesn't bother your knees, you're gonna go left, then right. Good. Left and right. A few more here. And right. Three, two, one. Bring that body right back to center. You're gonna fold over halfway. 
you're in a nice table position. Arch that back, let those fingertips just hang there, release all that stress. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time, all the way to the top, good. Bring those arms up overhead. Bring those palms towards me. You're gonna walk those feet in just a little bit here. Bend those knees slightly and fold over again. You're folding your body in half. You can stop halfway. If this makes you dizzy to go down, just stay here. If you feel like you can go all the way down, come all the way down towards your toes. Sweep those toes and come right back up, folding and then lifting to the top. Good. Bring those palms to me. Fold over again, breathing in. Stop right there, blowing it out all the way down. Good. Lift back, unfold that body. Bring it all the way back up to the top. Good. One more time, palms towards me. Sweep it down, stopping halfway if you need. Go all the way down if it feels good. Hang out here a little bit. Relax that neck down here. Walk those fingertips over to the right side. Just stretching, stretching, stretching. Back to center. Walk them over to the left. And back to center. Arch that back again this time. And you're gonna roll it up again, one vertebrae at a time. All the way to the top. Walk those feet in. Roll out your shoulders. Lift up and around. Good. Make some big circles with those arms. And bring it back down. I'm gonna grab the chair and take a seat, do a little bit more stretching. So I'm gonna bring this chair right out in front of us. You're gonna sit right towards the end of the chair. Lift that right leg back up and roll out those ankles. And you can just take it back. Just some quick stretches for those ankles. Bring the right foot down. Now the left comes up, roll it out, good. And reverse it, nice quick ones here. Bring that back down. I want you to take your hands out in front of you and we're just gonna roll out those wrists. Really important, keep those joints nice and flexible. Get those muscles strong around the joints. Bring your hands forward. We're gonna pretend we're opening some jars. So just twist the hands like you're opening the jar. If you're like me, you have a problem with that. Okay, bring those arms back down. Arms come back up. You're gonna pretend you're opening a door now. So just twisting those hands right out in front of you. And bring your hands down, good. Sitting nice and tall again. You're gonna take both hands, grab towards your right glute, lift through your chest. We're gonna stretch out that torso, rotate through your middle, chest stays tall, and just look behind you again. Two breaths here, breathe in, blow it out. Breathe in, and exhale, good. Right back to center. Take the hands to the left glute, lift up, breathe in, blow it out. One more time, breathe in, and exhale. Come on back to center. We're gonna stand up, couple more stretches and we're all done. Moving the chair over to the side. Facing forward. Reach up and over again. This time stand tall and just a slight bend. Good. Other side, stand tall, just a slight bend. Good, bring those hands down. Some nice deep breaths to end this off. Here we go. Breathe in. And exhale, blow it out. Breathe in. Exhale. Last one, breathe in, and exhale, blow it out. Stand nice and tall, and you are done. Thank you.